Hello everyone, this is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to use nodal analysis to find the current Ix. In order to find the current Ix using nodal analysis, we need to find the voltage at terminal, at this terminal, I'm going to call this terminal V1, in order to find the voltage at terminal V2. As always, we choose the terminal that connects the most component in the circuit. In this case, we have two important terminals. The reason why we need to find the voltage at V1 to find the voltage at V2 is because there is a voltage difference, difference in voltage between V1 and V2 caused by the 5, five ohms resistor. So we attack it by applying KCL at V1. So node, node equation one is going to equal the difference between V1 and the 21 volts divided by the five, five ohms resistor in the left branch. Plus, and as always, we want to include our ground, which is zero volts. We then V1, and we can say minus zero volts in reference to, reference to ground, divided by 10. I'll divide by 10. Plus the difference of v2 v1 and v2 divided by 5 equals 0 we can go ahead and simplify that or let's just put node 2 because we know we're going to have a system of equations node 2 as always, V2 minus V1 all over 5. That's the difference between V1 and V2. Plus V2 minus 0 volts all over 10. plus the difference in V2 and the 10.5 volts. In this case, the terminal of the voltage source that is connected to ground is positive. So we're going to say V2 plus 10.5 divided by 5. equals zero. Simplifying and then using simultaneous or simultaneous equations leads to, so let's simplify first, or you can do that on your own. So, simul so simplify, then simultaneous equation leads to V1 equals to eight volts, V2 equals to minus one volt. Knowing the voltage at terminal V2, we then apply Ohm's law. Ix is equal to the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance, which is negative 1 divided by 10 is equal to negative 0 0.1 amperes. And that is the current through the 10 ohms, the 10 ohm resistor. See you in the next problem. Bye.